Three ZANU-PF candidates, including Finance Minister Mpudin Cube, received free seats in Parliament when a Bulawayo High Court judge yesterday disallowed 12 parliamentary candidates from the main opposition Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC from running in next month's elections. Judge Justice Neville Wamambo of the Harare High Court dismissed an appeal from the opposition party accusing 17 bogus candidates of falsifying official signatures on their nomination papers, dealing a double blow to the Nelson Chamisalet CCC. After 12 registered voters who were reportedly ZANU-PF members petitioned the courts demanding their disqualification for allegedly presenting their nomination papers after the 4 p.m. deadline on June 21. Justice Bangwani Nlovo of the Bulawayo High Court dismissed the CCC candidates. Nonetheless, nine additional districts will still be up for election because more than three parties are running in those districts. In a decision rendered yesterday on his behalf by Judge Nokutala Moyo, Justice Nlovo determined that the petitioners had established that the CCC candidates had submitted their paperwork past the deadline. It is now directed that the following respondents' names must not appear on the ballots that will be used in the general election set for August 23, 2023, by the first respondent Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. The cost of the lawsuit must be borne equally and severally by the respondents, Judge Moyo said. If the CCC's appeal is unsuccessful, ZANU-PF candidates Nkyup Kaudre Park. Industry Deputy Minister Raj Modi Bulawayo South and Tendai Cheruka Bulawayo Central may gain from the decision because they will be left unopposed. Fetzei Mayer, the CCC spokesperson, said they will appeal the decision. Mayer stated that citizens have the right to nominate candidates within the bounds of the law and to be represented by MPs of their choosing in a free and fair election. Mayer claimed in a statement that it was unconstitutional and more indication that ZANU-PF can never win a free and fair election in Zimbabwe to disqualify the 12 CCC National Assembly candidates. The ruling works against the right of citizens to elect the leaders they want. The legislative power of Zimbabwe is clearly drawn from the people, not ZANU-PF or any other state entity. According to Section 117 of the Constitution, Mayer stated, Thus, the blatant attempt to impose candidates on the people of Bulawayo is a stain on our democracy and proves that Zimbabwe has become a full-fledged dictatorship. Much worse than under Robert Mugabe. Even worse, Robert Mugabe never made an attempt to blatantly remove candidates from the ballot who he knew he would lose against. Mayer asserted that the disqualified candidates submitted their nomination papers well within the time limits stipulated by the electoral law and further stated that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, the administrative and constitutional body tasked with receiving nomination papers in accordance with the Constitution and the Electoral Act, had acknowledged this fact. We respectfully disagree with it, the verdict and will be pursuing the required legal actions to guarantee that elections are held, CCC attorney Tabonim Bofu said. Applicants must persevere in their job despite obstacles. Innocent Liu, the Bulawayo Elections Officer for the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission said, Justice Priscilla Chikamba. And the various CCC candidates were named as respondents by the petitioners. Attorneys for the CCC applicants argued in court that the case was unsupported by any evidence and was based only on hearsay. Tawanda Kenangoni, an attorney for ZEC, had also contested the application, claiming that the applicants had gone to the incorrect court. Kenangoni asked for the application to be dismissed and for the court to reject jurisdiction. Bofu said that the applicants weren't present in person at the nomination court and that there was no proof that CCC candidates had submitted their nomination papers after the deadline had passed. Bofu stated, the outcome of the nomination court does not give permission to contest it because such right is purposefully accorded if they have a legitimate interest. The applicants' legal interest should be in exercising their right to vote. And if that right is violated, the applicant may seek redress in court. However, as applicants, the applicant has no right to demand that people who want to vote for the other side refrain from supporting opposition candidates. Bofu said that ZANU-PF had funded and politicized the case. Welshman Duke, another CCC attorney, said that the petitioner's attempt to have the opposition candidates' nominations revoked based only on hearsay was unacceptable in court. In Harare, Judge Wamambo concluded that the CCC's legal challenge of the duplicate candidates was based on the incorrect statute. Also, he claimed that the nomination papers filed were identical. The judge further decided that only an expert could verify the problem of signatures. 
Bofu had contested SEC, claiming that it had registered the candidates under their party even though they had supplied samples of the signatures of party members authorized to sign for candidates. Kanangoni contended that there was no communication containing a sample logo before the elections. The nomination officer had no legitimate basis to believe that this wasn't the CCC logo. Kanangoni stated, the signatures, I don't know what components of that signature the appellant has produced. There isn't really a foundation for saying those signatures are different when you look at them. They have a lot in common. Any nomination officer would not claim they appear different after looking at the specimens and the nomination papers. Nobody here is an expert on that.